Good evening and welcome to uh, Good News Arizona. I'm Chris Dunham and uh, we're coming to you live from the Real Estate Guys studios in sunny Gilbert, Arizona. And I'm Dean Naughton and it's not nighttime it's not. and it's not live. But welcome anyway. We don't even know really what day it is. No. 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 And we're not in front of a studio audience either. But you can send us your picture and we'll put you on the studio wall and we'll call it the live studio audience. I like that. Yeah. Right. It's social distancing. All right. So we're here at Good News, Arizona. And the purpose of this is because of all the craziness that's going on right now, all the overload of everything and right. the anxiety, we decided that we would do something that would make more sense. Correct. And so we've created... Good News, Arizona. It's true our schools have been shut down for the remainder of the school year. But the good news about that in Arizona is there's less traffic during rush hour. That's true. And I can just drive around the city all I want. I don't have anywhere to go and I can't go to we are restaurants. Essential, but we are essential. According to local, state, and federal governments. We are essential. We are essential. I don't believe that. First story up is that a Valley resident was in much need of ketchup. I heard that. That's that's interesting. Ketchup lovers all over the valley have bought all the ketchup. They emptied the shelves. <laughs> Of ketchup, ketchup people. Anyway, some random person found out about it, saw the post on probably Facebook. Facebook on Facebook. Because everybody's on Facebook right now. Socializing. Exactly. Yeah, distance. Are right. we too close? We probably are. But it's okay, because we've known each other for a decade. Anyway, so this resident, this total stranger, actually right. went and had an extra bottle of ketchup and right. dropped it off on their doorstep. On their doorstep. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. In other news, contrary to popular opinion, Chicken Little has been quarantined, so the sky is no longer falling. <laughs> right? Chicken Little. Chicken my turn. No proof of this, really, but uh, local legislatures have been working on a law to ban the man bun. Right. I think that's pretty sad right now because you're trying to grow one. I'm trying to grow my hair. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I have this on because I'm not unveiling the growth of the hair until the pandemic is officially over. So oh, that's is, not natural. That's not my real hair. That is not his real hair. <laughs> Lawmakers are fearful that food shortages will make it so that men with men buns will be attacked. Will be attacked. Yeah. Like yeah. honey buns. Right. And those of us that are socially awkward are reportedly thriving in the social distancing movement. It seems that they've been rooting for this for decades. So that's certainly good news. For more good news in Arizona, the depression rate in dogs is dropping massively since everyone is taking them out for a walk. Congratulations. And make sure you clean up the dog poop. Is there more? There is more because people are not picking up the dog poop. Pick up your poop. Grocery store shelves are getting picked over. We all know this because we've seen it. But if you're in the mood for candy, for pickles, beef jerky, and coffee, you're in luck. Those four items are fully stocked. Pickles, beef jerky, candy, and coffee. Not really sure what kind of meal that's going to make, but it sounds like the ingredients for an episode of Chopped. Right. Right? Yep. By the way, Chopped and the Food Network is not affiliated with this particular show. Not at all. We're affiliated with uh, Golden Corn Whole Kennel, Sweet Corn, Peanut Butter, and of course, the Magic 8-Ball. We are always sponsored by the Magic 8-Ball. Yeah. You know, now, in baby news, 25,780 births have occurred since January 1st. Now, this is as of probably yesterday afternoon. 8,300 of those were in just Maricopa County alone. So okay. that's a lot of good news, Arizona. We'd like to wrap up our initial episode with homage. Homage. Is that how you say that? Homage. David I think Letterman. you have to do that with the hand gesture. Homage to David Letterman. I love David Letterman. I that did too. He was great. He was awesome. He has a Netflix show. I know. It's really right. actually very good. If you good. haven't binge watched right. that, right. top 10 list. All right, let's all right, do it. Here we go. Top 10 things to end. Once quarantine is over, as submitted by the fans of this show. Which really, is, you gave which, me number 10. Which is, yeah, we're starting at number 10. The number 10? Vaping. Vaping's got to stop. stop. Okay. Number nine, political commercials. Oh, I don't watch TV, so. Right. No, I fast forward commercials. Oh, okay. Yeah. Number eight, yep. facial hair for both men and women. It's a crime, really. It, it is. It's yeah. getting bad. All those places are closed. I know. Number seven, low riding jeans. Yeah, that's bad. I know. Yeah. Number six. I know this is going to shock you. Top 10 things that will end once the quarantine is over. TP hoarding. What will we hoard next? We're pretty much at the bottom of the barrel. So beef jerky, pickles, <laughs> coffee. And pregnancy tests. Pregnancy tests. Number five. Number five. Mullets. Oh, that goes right over nicely with number four. Right. Home haircuts. The bowl cut. I've seen that. Number three. Meth and heroin. Shouldn't be doing it now. Right. Shouldn't be what doing a, it now. What a better way to end it. On a high note, pandemic's over, so is the meth and heroin crisis. Let's wrap them up in a bow. Same day. We could wrap two. it into a man bun. Right. That was number two. Okay. Number two, eradicating man bun. And the number, number one, one thing that hopefully will end once this quarantine is over is... Tiger King! So, to wrap everything up, as, oh, as, as, man. as Abraham Lincoln said, the only thing to fear is fear itself. Until next week, we'll see you. Have a great week, everybody.